Hi there, welcome back to our tutorial series on YouTube, proudly brought to you by the O3 Schools Jam app. I believe by now we've all downloaded that app and we are practicing with it. All right, so for our class today, the topic is parental responsibility. Parental responsibility. Now, this class is a sequel, and in the first class, we define parental responsibility as the duties that parents or guardians owe the children or wards under them. And then we examine some parents in the Bible. In this class, we'll examine more parents in the Bible. And first up is David. David is a parent in the Bible that lacked parental responsibility and the account is written in the book of second samuel from chapter 13 to 18 we find the story of david there so david lacked parental responsibility in the bible first his son amnon raped his half-sister Tamar. This made Tamar's brother from the same mother, Absalom. It made him angry. And it also wasn't recorded in the Bible what punishment David gave to Amnon for committing this sin. Also, Absalom killed Amnon. Two years after Amnon raped his half-sister Tamar, Absalom gathered all the king's son for a celebration, but really it was just a ploy to kill Amnon for what he did to his sister Tamar. And when Absalom gathered all the king's son, he actually killed Tamar. He actually killed Amnon, I'm sorry. He actually killed Amnon. And also it wasn't recorded what punishment David gave to Absalom for committing murder. Absalom only fled for three years, and by the time David's anger subsided, Absalom returned. Again, Absalom tried to usurp his father's throne. His father's throne. Absalom tried to usurp his father's throne. He charmed his way into the hearts of the Israelites and even got his father's advisor, Ahitophel, on his side. But God delivered David. We can also see from this account that while, when David's commanders were going into battle with Absalom, David begged them to deal gently with his son. That showed David's indulgent love for his children. And even though he had begged them to deal gently with his son, they still killed Absalom. Thus, David lost his two sons as a consequence of his lack of parental responsibility. Then another parent to consider is Asa. This account is written in 1 Kings chapter 15 and 22. Asa was the king of Judah. Asa was the king of Judah, and he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord. First, Asa banished perverted people from the land. He banished them from the land. He banished perverted people from the land. He got rid of his father's idols. He also removed his grandmother. His grandmother. from the position of queen mother.
she removed her from the position of queen mother because she made an image of Asherah, you know, and he also destroyed the image. Also, he trained his son, Jehoshaphat, well. Asa trained his son well because when it got to time for Asa's son Jehoshaphat to take over, he followed in the footsteps of his father. He kept on doing what was right in the eyes of the Lord. So Asa banished perverted people from the land. He got rid of his father's idols. He removed his grandmother from the position of queen mother. He trained his son well and his son walked in his footsteps. Asa ruled for 41 years. while his son ruled for 25. Ruled for 25 years. So all of this goes to show that Asa displayed good parental responsibility towards his son. He trained his son well to do things according to, you know, God's will, God's plan. Now, in conclusion... You know, in the last class, we examined Samuel, we examined Eli, today David and Asa. That's it for parental responsibility. In the previous class, we examined Eli and Samuel, and today we'll, we've looked at David and Asa. In conclusion, God wants parents, you know, in Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, God wants parents to train their children in the way that they should go. And when they are old, they will not depart from it. He also wants parents to correct their children with the rod if necessary, because the beating will not kill the children. Rather, it will save their souls from hell. Parents should endeavor to teach their children, you know, the things of God. They should diligently, whenever they are together, they should try as much as possible to teach their children the ways of God. Now, we'll now head over to the O3 Schools Jam app to check out some questions that have been asked under this topic, parental responsibility. Once again, if you've not downloaded your app, do yourself a favor, download the app now. Now, here's a question from 2015. A good example of parental responsibility was demonstrated by A, Samuel, B, Eli, C, Asa, D, David. The answer is C, Asa. Asa demonstrated, you know, a good example of parental responsibility. And another one from 2008 says, what did Asa do that was right in the eyes of the Lord? A, he removed all the idols of his father. B, he killed all the priests of Baal. C, his reign was peaceful. D, he killed all the Baal worshippers. The answer is A, he removed all the idols of his father. And then here we have... This is a question from 2011 now. Laxity in disciplining children is dangerous to both the family and society as exemplified by A, Jonathan, B, Tamar, C, Absalom, D, Ahikam. That is C, Absalom. It's dangerous to both the, society, the family and the society because not only did Absalom kill his brother, he also tried to usurp his father, leading to a war that led to the death of so many other people not just within his family now, people in the society also died because of, you know, David, David's lack of parental responsibility to carefully bring up his children. Now, that's it for parental responsibility. Thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to like this video. And if you have any questions, you can put it in the comment section. We'll attend to you. Also, subscribe so you don't miss out on new content. Thank you.